Let's watch Dr. Stafforth, an oncologist, explaining a little more about what radiotherapy involves and some of the side effects to a patient. Amount to what would the radiotherapy involve in this particular case? Well, the radiotherapy for you is very similar. The radiotherapy we give for all prostate cancer patients is very simple. Mm very similar and it's an outpatient treatment and we treat patients over a four-week period right. and you come up every day for about 10 minutes each day um, uh, it's a painless treatment you come and lie on a couch and effectively a very big machine a bit like a scanner moves around your body and gives you treatment from three or four different directions a little bit at a time and we the whole body is this no it's very accurately targeted right. So what we do and this would be around the, t the, pro the old prostate area again? Exactly. So what we do, we, we have a planning, a, a planning scan, which is a CT scan, which is very similar to the MR scan you'd have had before your surgery. And that effectively maps out the inside of your body so that we can then use all the information from the surgery, from your original scan, and from the careful examination we've done of your prostate cancer to work out where we think is the most likely site of your cell still remaining. And so I then draw on that individually for you the area we need to treat. And we've got some, some planners who then work out the appropriate beam arrangements and say from three or four different directions, individualise for you to try to give as much treatment as possible to the cancer area or the cancer risk area and to minimise any dose that might go to some of your critical structures and we know that the bladder and the rectum can have problems. Yeah, well, that's, uh, I was just going to ask you about that because the, um, again, too much information I think I've, I've gained from reading the internet and so on, but I know that there are some terrible side effects from radiotherapy. I mean, I've already, for example, got um, erectile dysfunction as a result of uh, the prostatectomy. Yeah. Um, and now I understand that there's likely to be some problems uh, from the backside and, and I mean, do I need this added to the burden I've already got? And also it's not going to make the, it's not going to make the erectile dysfunction any better, is it? You've got, you've asked a lot of good questions. I'll try and go through them mm -hmm. bit by bit. So the, the side effects that people tend to get is primarily from the bladder and from the rectum, so it tends right. to be urinary and bowel problems. The, and a lot of people do get side effects during radiation, but actually for after prostate surgery, the side effects are actually really very good. So they're actually better than people who haven't had operation in the first place. Really? So it's relatively well tolerated. The majority of side effects are side effects that just happen during the radiation therapy itself. So you may get it for four to six weeks in total, maybe a, bit, a little bit longer, then they'll go away and never come back. And those side effects are maybe annoying, so it may be getting up a bit more at night time, maybe having a bit more uh, bowel motions than usual, but not usually needing any medication for it. And some people will find that um, actually it's the urinary incontinence that you might have had for a couple of months or so yeah, after initially. surgery. Yeah. That, uh, and you haven't mentioned it yet, but so a lot of men would have regained their continence completely. Well, mine is fine now, okay. but again, I was worried that that would be something else that I would have to deal with. Yeah, it can temporarily get a little bit worse during the radiotherapy, we're aware of that. But again, it's usually just a temporary issue, mm -hmm. and again, it's an annoyance like any bowel effects or other urinary effects. Mm -hmm. And it, gets, it sort of comes on towards halfway through the radiotherapy and lasts for a couple of weeks after radiotherapy and then usually goes away completely. So right. by six or eight weeks, the majority of people will be back to how you are now, or, vir or you know, virtually back mm. to normal, and mm. your body just heals itself. Mm. There are a small number of people who do get some side effects that, that can hang on, like you mentioned, your erectile dysfunction right. after surgery. And those, again, it's usually bowel, some bowel looseness, or an occasional spotting of blood from the tail end, or urinary, and it can be slowing of the urinary stream. And very occasionally we do need to do something about it. But I, I wouldn't in any way describe it as terrifically bad side effects. Mm. It's, it's not that level at all. Mm. You heard some of the most common side effects, and these are listed also in the patient information sheet or booklet you've been given. It's always difficult to predict how much they might affect you, but most settle down within a few weeks of radiotherapy finishing. There are some rarer long-term side effects which your doctor will discuss with you. 
Different types of radiotherapy make some of these less common and there are treatments to help with some of them.